This is the Fertile Mindset Podcast, where we explore all the emotional aspects of fertility to support you on your path to parenthood. My name is Sarah Holland. I'm the Fertile Mindset Coach and a mother to two children after my own fertility challenges. I hope you find all the support and inspiration you need within this podcast to carry you forward on your fertility journey towards your own successful outcome. It's also my wish that through listening to these episodes, you rediscover how to enjoy life now and live it to the full while you wait for your baby. Now, let's begin today's episode. Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Fertile Mindset Podcast. Now, before we begin talking about this week's topic, I have some news to share with you. I hinted last week about a new fertility support challenge coming soon, and now I can reveal all the details to you. The new challenge is called Five Days to Fertility Calm, and it does exactly what it says on the tin. By taking part in this challenge for just a few minutes a day, over five days, you will discover a new way of experiencing calm, clarity, and emotional well-being on your fertility journey. Over this past year, we've all become much more aware of the importance of our emotional well-being and mental health. And people tell me that the additional stresses of the pandemic has made focusing on their mental health an essential part of the fertility self-care. So this five day free challenge is for you if you're on any kind of path to parenthood, whether you are just at the start trying to conceive naturally or you're having fertility treatment like IVF or currently on a break while you focus on your health and well-being. Over five days, you will discover how to easily and effectively deal with any emotional challenges and stresses that come up for you on your fertility journey or in life as a whole through using the approach to mindset transformation that I use with every single one of my Fertile Mindset coaching clients and with every member of the Fertile Mindset Sanctuary. This approach is simple to learn and use and over five days you'll get into the habit of effective emotional self-care that takes you no longer than your morning shower but can bring you positive results that last all day long. I called the challenge five days to fertility calm because that is what you can achieve by connecting with this process for just a few minutes each day over five days. You'll achieve a sense of calm and lightness by acknowledging and releasing any emotional burdens that have been holding you back. This challenge is created for you to focus on what is most important to you right now so you get the best possible version of fertility calm in the five days. I create the content and simple exercises for the five days based on what you need. So as soon as you register your place, you'll be invited to share what you would most like support with. I will then create daily support to bring you to a more relaxed and peaceful place than you ever thought possible because there is no denying that having fertility issues can be stressful. And when we add in the challenges of the past year, it can feel impossible to ever get back to a true place of calm. But I promise you that it is possible and I would love to help you get there to your place of fertility calm over just five days. So you can then feel happy and strong as you continue on your own path to parenthood. Now, these challenges are always an extraordinary experience for those who take part. So I'd love you to join us too. Mark these five days on your calendar now from Monday, the 19th of April to Friday, the 23rd of April. That's the 19th to the 23rd of April. And then sign up at fertilemindset.com slash five days. That's with a number five, fertilemindset.com slash five number five days. So now I've completed that important announcement, it's time to start today's episode, which is going to be a lovely introduction to the free challenge, because today I'm talking about what having a fertile mindset means and how nurturing a fertile mindset can support your fertility. So you're here listening to the Fertile Mindset podcast. You may also be a member of my Fertile Mindset Sanctuary or have visited my website at FertileMindset.com. You also find me all over social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest and Clubhouse under the name Fertile Mindset. 
Ever since I chose that name for my business, I have loved it. Yes, it relates to fertility, of course. It's partly about creating a mindset that supports and enhances your fertility, but it's so much more too. And in today's episode, I'd love to invite you into an exploration around what it means to have a fertile mindset and why this is so important to nurture. Yes, for our fertility and for every other area of our lives too. I'd like to start by sharing an analogy for the fertile mindset that I often share with my clients to explain the approach I use and the work that we'll be doing together. The words fertile and fertility can also apply to the ground, the earth. And if we have fertile soil, it's an environment where plants can grow and thrive. So if we can think of our minds like a garden where plants and flowers can take root and grow, just as thoughts can take root and grow in our mind. If we want to fill our garden with beautiful flowers, we need to plant the seeds for the specific flowers that we want. Now, if the garden is already full of weeds, a tangled mass of weeds with long, far-reaching roots throughout the ground, what's going to happen when we sprinkle our flower seeds over the ground? What will happen is if they do get a chance to connect with the soil and maybe find a small space to take root and begin to grow, they will soon be strangled by the more dominant and fully grown weeds. And this will happen every time you try to plant the flower seeds. The weeds will stop the flowers growing to their full potential or may kill them off completely. And let's be honest, you wouldn't do this in your garden, would you? Say you moved into a new house with a jungle of a garden that hadn't been tended to in years. You wouldn't just sprinkle a packet of seeds and then keep your fingers crossed that they grow, would you? What you do is roll up your sleeves, maybe get in some other people to help you and get to work digging up and pulling out those weeds. You'd work until you could see fresh bare soil that's positively crying out to be planted. And then you'd sprinkle the seeds, water them and watch the new shoots emerge within days. Then as the flowers grow, they have space to fully bloom and you have a beautiful garden that's a delight to spend time in. Weeds could still grow, of course, but you'd know that by making time, maybe every weekend, to spot and pull out the weeds, you'd continue to have a garden full of gorgeous plants and flowers. Now, I know I've spent a lot of time there explaining the analogy of the garden and its weeds or flowers that represent your mind with your thoughts. But that's because I want to emphasise one extremely important first point about creating a fertile mindset. You do not achieve a true fertile mindset by just throwing in some positive thoughts on top of the negative ones. You might think that if you really work hard at a positive mental attitude while pushing down the negative thoughts, a bit like digging the weeds into the soil to hide them, then that would be enough. But just like the weeds, and most importantly their roots that are still alive and growing under the soil, so are your more uncomfortable, unsupportive or negative thoughts. And as soon as the conditions are right, maybe at a time you're feeling your most vulnerable, they will rise to the surface again and it will feel like you're back to square one. Maybe this sounds familiar to you and I don't want it to feel like a constant battle. It's emotionally exhausting and it can feel like you're getting nowhere. So when nurturing a fertile mindset, we want to approach our mind with the same love and attention that we would give to a garden. Pull out the weeds, tend to the soil, and then plant the seeds. And how this looks for your mind is to firstly notice and identify the thoughts, beliefs, or emotions that are not serving you and your mindset work, then to thoroughly transform and clear these thoughts, all the while creating space in your mind and preparing it to be a home for more positive, supportive and naturally healthy thoughts, beliefs and emotions. Sounds simple, doesn't it? We know that working on our emotional health can be a long and complex process, but it doesn't have to be like this. And my free challenge, Five Days to Fertility Calm, that's open for registration from today, will show you how easy and effective it can be for you with the right approach, support and framework to make sure you are getting the results you want and creating the mindset you need right now. So if we acknowledge that the first step to creating a fertile mindset is clearing the way, how do we then know which seeds to plant, which thoughts, beliefs and emotions will create the mindset we are looking for to support us effectively through our fertility journey and beyond? 
Let's think first of all about what a fertile mindset would look like for you. What would it feel like? What would be the most supportive mindset to take on to support you through the twists and turns of your fertility journey? Now, you don't need to agonise over this, and I definitely don't want you to fixate on a particular way of being if it doesn't feel right for you. This is where affirmations as a practice for emotional well-being can fall short. If you repeat a cookie cutter style affirmation such as my mind is relaxed and my body is fertile, you may find that the first thousand times you say it, you're constantly answering back to it saying, I'm anything but relaxed and my body has never shown me any hint that it's fertile. And who's got time to repeat a phrase many thousands of times until it pushes the conflicting thoughts down far enough so that it can stick? This could be like emptying a truckload of flower seeds onto our weed strangled garden, hoping that the sheer weight of the seeds crushes the weeds into submission. I'm not sure that any gardener would recommend that approach. Now this doesn't mean that I don't like affirmations, far from it. A beautifully and suitably crafted affirmation can be a wonderful way to refocus your mind and to connect with throughout your day. However, That affirmation will only be welcomed with open arms by your mind if it feels comfortable and we can believe in it, even if it's just a tiny bit. If a thought, belief or affirmation feels right, we'll want to keep it close by. Our mind will enjoy marinating in the feelings it creates and it will be a soothing balm for any niggly negative thoughts that still remain. So how can you find this ideal mindset for you and the affirmations that feel just right? The answer is simple. You know them already. The best affirmations, positive mindset and supportive thoughts all come from you. Where else could they come from? Who knows you better than yourself? You have all this knowledge, all this wisdom within you. You just may not be connected to it right now. And that's understandable. Trying for a baby when you have fertility issues while living through a pandemic and whatever else is going on for you in your life, your mind has probably never been busier or more full of thoughts and worries. Now, if we take a step back and deal with those thoughts and worries first, let go of everything that is irrelevant, isn't needed right now, or maybe doesn't even belong to us as so many of our beliefs do come from other people, Then we can create some space among all the noise in our mind. We can quieten down the constant chatter of thoughts and find a stillness. And from that stillness, we can begin to truly listen to ourselves. What is it that we want? What do we need? Or as I've been learning to ask in a philosophy class I'm currently taking, what would a wise person do? When our mind is calmer and quieter, we can ask these questions and get good answers back. Often we don't need to ask the question at all when our mind is calm and clear, although the act of asking it can create that extra bit of space and awareness that we need to hear our inner wisdom more clearly. You may find that once you've cleared your mind of the thoughts, beliefs and emotions that were not supportive, your new, naturally supportive mindset comes forward quite easily. This is what I see all the time with the people I support at Fertile Mindset. When we take the time to really focus on our thoughts and feelings instead of pushing them aside and then take on an approach to identify and release the ones we no longer need, we discover our innate, most healthy way of being and I call this our fertile mindset. A fertile mindset is where potential can grow. It's a space from where you can discover support, solutions and your inner guidance to take you closer to your dreams, whether that is to conceive your baby, create your family or whatever else you want in your life. A fertile mindset is the perfect environment to sow seeds and then let your intuition and imagination take over. It's where we can be more creative, conscious and know we are fully engaged with our lives. Now I asked the members of my Fertile Mindset Sanctuary what a fertile mindset means to them and this is what a couple of them said. For me, it's more about a conscious mindset. Rather than plodding along, totally unaware of my feelings and intuition, it's learning how to become aware of what comes up, 
and also working at not judging it. I would say it's having hope that the dream of having a baby will come true, trusting that your body is able to conceive and carry to term a healthy baby, being able to make the changes and the decisions too that will help you to have a baby. I'd love you to be curious about and explore what a fertile mindset could mean for you. There is no one definition or way of being. What you need and naturally step into while on your fertility journey will be unique to you. So I'd love to once again invite you to join me on my upcoming free challenge, Five Days to Fertility Calm. Registration is open now and although the challenge itself starts on Monday the 19th of April, as soon as you join you can be a part of co-creating what we experience during the challenge week together. There will also be a chance to connect with me and the others taking part beforehand and being supported in preparing for a wonderful five days together. It won't take much time each day to take part, but it will have the potential to be hugely beneficial and completely game changing for your fertility journey. If you feel like you've been going it alone for too long with your fertility issues or haven't had nearly enough support for the emotional and mindset side of your fertility journey, then I'd love you to take part in the free challenge. It will be held in a private and supportive group and I look forward to personally welcoming you there. To register your free spot now, please go to fertilemindset.com slash five days. Remember, that's with a number five, fertilemindset.com slash five days. Oh, and do share this with anyone else who you know on a fertility journey or on social media. I'm happy for you to share both the link um, for the challenge or better still, a link to this podcast episode too. So that's it for today's episode and I hope to meet you during the challenge week where you can connect with me and create your own fertile mindset. I look forward to seeing you there and speaking to you again next week on the Fertile Mindset podcast. I'm so pleased you're listening to the Fertile Mindset podcast and now I would love to invite you to join us in the Fertile Mindset Sanctuary. The Sanctuary is my fertility support membership which is focused on taking care of you and helping you enjoy your life while you wait for your baby. In the Sanctuary, I'll guide you through using an amazing technique called EFT or tapping and you'll soon be feeling less stressed and more joyful. If you're not already in the Sanctuary, do come and join us today because the best time to start receiving support on your fertility journey is always right now. Honestly, it makes such a difference to have good quality emotional support and techniques that you can pick up and use yourself whenever you need them. Go to fertilemindset.com slash sanctuary to join us today. I look forward to hopefully seeing you there and at the next episode of the Fertile Mindset Podcast.